Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So I've really been enjoying working through these example sketches, the watch sketches, the power management sketch, and I appreciate all your views and comments. And hey, welcome to the new subscribers. Especially appreciate that as well. So this time around, we're going to get into something very interesting, especially for me, because eventually I want this type of technology in model rockets. We're going to be looking at this BMA423. It's essentially, it's an accelerometer. It's a motion sensor, as it were. It's detecting the motion of the watch, to be more clear. So I have gone through and uncommented the lines in the config H's for these four sketches. That's the BMA423 Excel, BMA423 Direction, BMA423 Feature, and BMA423 Step Count. All of the config H's have Lily Go TT Watch 2020 uncommented. So we can go ahead and start loading this up. Let's take a look at this program a little bit. So again, it appears that this BMA423 is a serial device because we initiate the serial interface. There's a variety of features in here talking about optional rates. So this is all the setup for this BMA423 device. So we see here that this sketch is going to print out the acceleration values for the X, Y, and Z axis. So this program seems relatively simple, but when you consider if you've ever flown like a quadcopter, you know, the drones, that accelerometer tied with the gyroscope and then attached to a small microprocessor are what maintains that stable flight of a drone. Otherwise, it would just go crazy and uh, you wouldn't be able to fly it. So let's see how that's going to look here. All right, we're just booting into this sketch on the TTGO T-Watch 2020. And you can see, there you go, the acceleration values on the X, Y, and Z axis. Let's shake it up a little bit so we can see the numbers change. Yeah, so it's very responsive to what motion the watch is undertaking at the time. I hope you find that interesting. Think about what you might do with some of that information in the program you write for your watch. Okay, up next is the BMA423 direction program. Let's go ahead and send that to the watch right now, and then let's see if we can figure out what it does. Again, they initialize the serial interface, set up the basic configurations of the device. Now here, it's basically detecting the rotation of the watch, and then it's switching the display to match the rotation of the watch. So I can't wait to see this. Here we go. Okay, again, we're just booting up after that sketch loaded, the BMA423 direction sketch. And you can see the text T-Watch is oriented to the direction that the watch is turned in. So much like your tablets or your cell phone where the display rotates to match the rotation of the device. Another interesting application that you might be able to use in your sketches. Okay, so let's check out this BMA423 feature. Again, initializing serial, the same setup for the device. Let's see if we can figure out what this sketch is going to do. So it says it has a step counter, it's going to detect tilt, and it's going to detect wake up. I don't know what those mean necessarily, but we'll see. So you can see here, it's going to display three things. The step count, whether the device is tilted, or whether it's a double click. So it's going to be interesting to see how that is registered physically by the watch. Here we go. Okay, here we are just booting into that new sketch, the BMA423 feature sketch. So it shows step count zero, tilt zero, double click zero. So let's see how we can get this to register something. I'll oh, see, double click. So it's registering the motion of the watch when I tap it twice. So you could use that to wake the watch up, I guess, because they called it wake up. Now I'm trying to see if I can get tilt to increment here. Yeah, I did get tilt to increment. 
Oh, if I shake the watch hard enough, I can get click to uh, increment as well. There, you can see the double click incrementing. Tilt, okay, tilt went up another one. I don't know how you're going to get a step count out of this. I'll see if I shake it enough here. <laughs> I never did get the step count to increment. Yeah, you figured that would get step count or something. We'll see. So tilt three, double click seven, step count zero. This is an interesting one. I think I'm going to have to play with this one some more. I just want to really understand what it's looking for and what it's displaying. So we're going to go on to the next one now. Okay, so the last sketch we're going to cover today is called Step Count. And I hope it works better than the Step Count in the BMA423 feature sketch we just got out of. Again, the same serial, the same setup. And then it just says Enable Feature Step Counter. Enable Step Counter Interrupt. And then it's going to display BMA423 Step Count. Okay, well here we go. Let's see if it works. All right, we're just booting back from loading that sketch, the BMA423 step count sketch. Here it says BMA423 step count. Now let's see if Jeff can get it to register a step count here. I might not be able to capture it on camera. <laughs> this, this light box I'm working in is rather small. So I figure banging on it, well, no, that didn't do anything. I'm going to need a little more range of motion here. Now, I didn't bang it on the desk. I'm moving it like it's on the end of my arm swinging. I'm going to have to swing it harder. Banging on it won't fix it, Jeff. Come on. <laughs> I'm glad I bought a spare couple of these. Yeah, tilting it doesn't do anything. Come on, Jeff, you can do it. You gotta really swing it, like it's on the end of your arm. Come on, you can do it. There we go. There we go. Did it work? Maybe I need some more room. Yeah, I think I'm doing it off camera now. This is really good, uh, good video material here. Okay, we did get the step count to go up. I was swinging it like it was on the end of my arm. Like, that's how your step counter would work. It basically detects that your arm is swinging and figures your arm swings each time you take a step. So, pretty simple stuff. We did get the step counter to work. I'm excited about that. Yeah, see? We got some steps on now. I'm worked up a sweat at this point. Okay, so again, I appreciate everybody's comments on the videos so far. The ones about the watches, anything concerning the watch is going to be addressed in the future episode where we talk about the RTC sketch because that's the only example sketch in that category. So it'll be good to have other material to support that particular video. Okay, thank you very much. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much.